Hey everyone, welcome to the new series that I'm doing called Metaverse in the Classroom. Today, we will be talking about the very first part of the series, which is elementary age kids. So this is kids anyone anywhere between the ages of four and 10. Um, later on in the series, I will be going over intermediate age kids. This is middle school age kids and secondary school, college and beyond. So how can Metaverse help you in the classroom? Well, first of all, Metaverse can help out with many different subjects, such as math, language arts, science, social studies, health, physical education, and foreign languages. For this tutorial, we are gonna focus on using Metaverse to explain basic math concepts. When it comes to mathematics, it can be very daunting and difficult to even begin to explain just the basic concepts. The great thing about Metaverse is it not only gives you a chance to explain the concepts, but you can also visualize the concepts and have kids interact with it. Um, basic concepts like quantity, number recognition, number meaning, and operations are very key important strategies that Metaverse can help you teach. Uh, we will be going over five key concepts, which are uh, number sense and operations, the knowing of how to represent numbers, recognize how many are in a group, and using numbers to compare and present. We'll also be going over basic pre-algebraic concepts, geometry and spatial sense, so we're building upon the knowledge of basic shapes, uh, how to identify more complex shapes such as 2D and 3D objects, um, learning how to reason spatially, reading maps, and visualizing objects in space. Metaverse is actually very great at explaining these concepts. We will also use geometric modeling to solve problems. For the first tutorial, it will be a two-part series over odd numbers. We'll be using character blocks, YouTube scenes, camera scenes, leaderboard blocks, and give item scenes. So let's begin. Part one of this lesson, we will be talking about odd numbers. How to detect odd numbers. So we have Aquaman here, and he's talking to the kids. Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's lesson. We will be learning about odd numbers. Do you know what an odd number is? All right, and from here, we will link up to this really neat YouTube video that I found about odd numbers. So next, we'll want to create a YouTube scene. Copy and paste. And let's transition. All right, transition to the next scene. So we'll have a little video about odd numbers and what odd numbers is. Just to give you a little hint, here's the video. It's pretty cool. <laughs> right, hey, odd numbers. Uh, good for kids. Maybe a little annoying for us adults, but kids will love this. So next we'll want to do another character scene. Hey, odd numbers. Can you recognize... Uh, actually, let's save this. 
Can you pick the odd number? Now we'll give it a give a couple options here. Let's uh, have the first one be four. It's three and two. All right, we'll need a new character scene. Two new ones, actually. And let's link these. So, for the correct one, yay! That is an odd number. Transition to scene four. Now for the incorrect answers. Close. Try again. To scene five. And scene five links to scene three. So just loop back and then have the student answer the question again. And then same goes for this answer. Oops, scene four. Five. All right, perfect. So to sequence, we have the odd number song, identifying what the odd number is, and then the correct answer, yay, that's an odd number. Next, and we'll transition to a scene. Yay! So the student has, has identified what the odd number is. From here we will go into a lesson where you can have the students pair up together as a team and then watch the other videos. So I have a number of Schoolhouse Rock videos here about different odd numbers, 3, 5, 7, and 9. This will be a part of part 2 of this, of this lesson where we will watch the videos, have the students take a video of their favorite number and explaining why it's their favorite number and then adding it to the leaderboard that will be in part two so i'll see you soon